All right, everybody, now we're back into Fallout 4 again. Uh, last time, we pretty much went into Nick Valentine's uh, detective agency, and he ain't here. He went to go do some mission somewhere, and good old Ellie here uh, pretty much said, Go help him, please. Please, please go get him. He can't do it on his own. He keeps hurting himself. He'll get in trouble. All right, Diamond City's newspaper, Public Occurrences, gets its name from the first newspaper ever published in Boston in 1690. Cool. I'm just going to take that at face value, I'm, I guess. Okay, so it goes from giving you facts to just random shit about the game. Okay. Well, we made it to Diamond City last time. It's uh, nighttime, though, but that's fine. I still got to sell a whole bunch of my junk to the random... Um, Don't move, Sith. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a Sith. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Hey, guys. Put the gun down, now! He's a Sith! Hey, Kyle. Kill us all! Oh. Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no Sins in Diamond City, hear me? Just you um... Hey. He pulled a gun on me. That's fucked. My own brother. What happened? What happened? I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. I do... I wonder if I was quicker. Would I have been able to prevent that? Cause he got shot. It did say individual is busy. So probably not. Hey there. I can't believe that happened. It's totally ruined the mood out here. I go back to your own damn business. The dude died. Officer? I need you to step away, Scabber. What I happened? I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. What you didn't hear the shouting? Guy pulls a gun on his own brother, thinking he's a synth. It's that newspaper's fault. Got people all riled up, thinking their own family might be replaced by machines. Look, I'm sorry you got caught up in all this, but it's over, okay? Just go about your business like nothing happened. Better that way. Oh my God. Thank you, security. Move along. Okay, moving on. Uh, Doe. Oh. Hey. I'm not looking to make friends. Beat it. What are you wearing? Is that just an old baseball uniform? I mean, all right. Uh, so before we go find Nick, uh, I think Piper wanted to talk to us. So we'll pop in here and see what conspiracy theorist lady has to say about anything. Unless she is telling the truth, but, you know, she seems a little... I don't know. Paparazzi? You holding up, Blue? Anything for the scoop? Blue? Why are you calling me that? Because of the blue jumpsuit you're wearing? You're a vault dweller. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you... That's so you can get more stories. What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? I want to do it, but I also want to be sarcastic. Here's your headline. Local man says no. Going to be like that, huh? <sighs> Smart ass. Fine. Well. We'll do this later, but I want that interview, got me? Well, hey, okay, Piper. we'll do it. You ready for that interview now, Blue? Sorry about that. Yeah, sure. I just I was going to be sarcastic, but, like, do it. Good. Let's get down. Godsworth, you're in the shot. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Let's just be honest. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before? 
before the war? Technically, I fought in the war. Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The Codsworth, you're still in the shop. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? It's kind of shitty. Fun destroying things. Oh, that's still kind of assholey, though. Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely. Oh, Codsworth liked it. You can stay in the shot, Codsworth. I like you. Sean, do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? Uh, the Institute. I don't think they said anything about him being taken by the Institute. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. Well, yeah, because you probably won't ever get your person out there back. Who's lost a loved one, but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them. Get revenge. Don't lose hope. No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's Codsworth everything. loved it. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. All right, so I can get her to be my companion, but I like Codsworth. Hey. So he liked a lot of that. So let's hey, talk. Codsworth. What is it, sir? Uh, what do you think on us now? About our relationship. I'm afraid that's a bit of an unknown. Oh, he still doesn't love me yet. You're no longer the man. Love me, Codsworth. That's all I want. Two hundred years ago. Are things all right between us? Yeah. Let me ask well, again. Things could always be better, sir. It would be I'm nice trying. to see you back to your old self again. Your thoughts? All this fuss over a detective. I do hope Mr. Valentine is worth it, but then again, anything is worth the risk when it comes to finding young Sean. Oh, nothing. All right, then. At least I didn't say dumb you robot that room? time. Just... Alright, Piper, you stay there. Codsworth and I are gonna go get Nick back. Entirely depending upon how far away Nick is at this time. I'm gonna go check up the stands. I don't think I ever actually went up into the stands when I played it before. I pretty much, I only thought it was down there. But the one lady mentioned about living in the stands, so we're going up to go check out the stands, I guess. Where's that go? Can I like snipe from up here? That'd be pretty cool. No, where does that go? That's just an elevator. Okay, I'll deal with that later. Okay. Just doesn't look like people live here. What the hell is it? Oh, this is the mayor's office. That makes sense. Well, what's back here, then? Is this where they sleep? They have their own place up in the stands? Okay, so they do live here. Geneva, whoever that is. Hmm. <clears throat> well, somebody's not in their bed. Oh. Hello, sir. Nothing to see here. I. Well, where's the mayor? Isn't he supposed to be here? Shouldn't he be asleep? I feel like doing that will kill me. So, uh, yeah, Codsworth, we're just going to pretend that never happened. Uh, we didn't attempt to loot the mayor's office, and we're going to go... That must be the stands now. That must be the... You're not even that far above everybody else. Why are you being an asshole? Oh, I do know that's the radio station over there, though. I do want to go talk to him. 
I do like him a lot. Oh, uh, whatever his name is. Uh, I got far enough. Nope, I want to go over here. So this must be... This is what I like about you, Wellian. You know what you are. I'm trying to be... I don't like you, Malcolm. Lower field workers always want what they haven't earned. Oh, it's cute observations, sir. Let me just freshen your glass again. Thank you, Wellian. I may have been programmed to serve, but in your case, I shall do so disdain. I'll have you know, I am higher class than these people have ever been. Is there a problem? No problem at all. My programming dictates that I serve all customers in the colonial oh. tap house. Even those that obviously don't belong. Codsworth, you're going to step up for me? know that my sensors indicate that you have dangerously low levels of class for this establishment. Oh, I have never been I've roasted that bad browse. before. Our menu. Right. Wow. All right. Do I have a suit? Or what happens if I put on a suit? Can I, like, get yeah, apparel, clean tan suit? I'll be breaking out the cheap moonshine, so that's... Not wow. Thank God. Wow. All right, so that didn't do anything. And I don't want a patch suit. So do I... What happens if I put on a dress? Will he talk to me when if I put on a dress? You insist on embarrassing. Don't need anything today. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, we're not... Okay, we're not dealing with that, apparently. And then I also had on... Fault jumpsuit. Underneath everything. Okay. Oh, I haven't talked. I haven't spoken to you, <coughs> Malcolm. Well, I don't object to you outsiders coming up here, but must you insist on speaking to me? You belong down in the lower section of the city. Ah, those lacking ambition. All uh, right, when a hundred. Hmm. Well, I want to tear these people down. Excuse you. Come on, Darcy. Let's go. Take it easy. I don't think she wants to leave just yet. Hey, this is between me and my wife. Why don't you mind your own damn business for once? Oh, God, Paul, why do you always have to make a scene? Pour me another drink, Henry. Damn it, Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll be home later. Can't believe you'd do this to me, Cook. Do what to you, Paul? You smug bastard. You keep away from my wife, God damn it. You better get out of here. Before you do something, can I interrupt stupid? this? You son of a bitch! Don't hurt him, Henry. All right, he's just gonna get rocked. Go on, get out of here. I'll be at home, Darcy, taking care of our son. Hey, Paul. 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 Hey. Sir. Paul. Okay. So what happened here? Yes, well, isn't this all very exciting? As it is, Codsworth. Excuse I don't me. think I like it. Sorry I had to see that. Things are usually a lot quieter around yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite a Perfect few layers. Perfect place to drink, if you're buying. Argument. What was that argument about? Uh, nothing much. You see, Darcy here likes to relax and enjoy life from time to time, and her husband Paul doesn't. He's not a bad guy, really. Just a little uptight. Too bad he can't learn to relax, huh, Darcy? Shut up. I don't come here to talk about Paul. You there! I haven't seen you in here before. Why don't you make yourself useful and buy me a drink or something? Why would I... What? You come here often? As often as I can, Henry is so That's good not how I wanted troubles. that to come across. Troubles? What would you know about that? Anyway, I got a bar to run. Ordering? Yeah, so is this, this your, your place, place, my guy? That's right. Owner, bartender, sympathetic ear. I try to provide a little oasis from the hardships of life. Name's Cook, by the way. Henry Cook. 
Let me know if I can get you anything. I'll, 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 I'll barter with you. Cheers. You got anything I want? You have shotgun shield? Well, I mean, I guess you have to defend your bar. But, uh... Not really. I don't really have anything to sell you. So let's talk to Darcy quick. Excuse me. Don't be shy. Sit down and have a drink. 